I'd say either me or Sneaky is the fart god. We sort of send him back and forth. We're sort of isolated in the room, so the other guys d d don't get a bask in it. All right, I'd say my least favorite food is kimchi because I don't like spicy food and I don't like vegetables. And it's just a combination of the two. Not a fan. My Chipotle order is chicken burrito, white rice, pinto beans, mild salsa, cheese. If I could wake up as another pro player, I think it'd be Bjergsen, just because I'd like to turn on my stream and get 40,000 viewers. That'd be pretty fun. Right, every morning, I say wake and bake motherfucker to Sneaky, because uh, he needs to uh, wake up and bake us some food. I don't think there's going to be another Trombonus Brothers video, because I haven't talked to the guy that I made it with in a few years. One of my favorite things to do with trombone when I was in van was we'd like fill up our trombones with water and then shoot it at each other and like get the halls all filled with water. And uh, it's a really bad idea, but it was fun. I'd say lately the most satisfying thing is just getting a really good comeback in Hearthstone. I've had a few games where I was at like one health and I did like 30 damage to someone in one turn. I'd say that Trombonus Brothers video is up there on the most embarrassing things I've done. High would be confident, false would be quiet, Lemon would be smart, and Sneaky would be troll. I think one of my favorite memories with Sneaky was this time we were throwing this beach ball thing back and forth and then he literally said, hmm, there's a wine glass right next to my keyboard. We should probably stop doing this. And I was like, now nah, I'll be good. And literally right when we said that, I threw it to him, he missed it, hits the wine glass, knocks it over, spills water all over his keyboard, breaks the keyboard and the wine glass. It's pretty funny. I'd say Tides of Time is probably my favorite Hearthstone player. I think he's really good. His stream's really fun to watch. And he just seems super chill. I think my all time favorite game growing up was Warcraft 3. And I would just do that with my friends all day. Just spend like hours in the map editor making mazes and stuff like that. And just playing with each other, it's a lot of fun. I don't think I would give up games for $100 million because $100 million would be really cool right when I got it, but eventually that would get boring and I'd want to play games again, but I couldn't. So I think I'd be happier playing games. I've been playing Oriana Jungle a lot lately. It worked in normal games and I tried it in ranked once and I got shit on, so I don't know if it's viable, but it's pretty fun. Well, I think when we play the best, it's usually when my teammates are also paying attention to where their jungler is along with me. They play really carefully when the jungler is near them, and we pay attention to objectives. Whenever they can get through the lane phase, they don't even have to win their lane, but if they just don't die, then usually it goes well. I'd say the most awkward Snapchat I've sent was this time at All Stars, and I was trying to take a Snapchat of one of the Korean players, and I didn't realize my flash was on, so I just like took a creeper pic of him right in his face, and my flash went off, and I didn't say anything to him about it beforehand. I was like, oh man, that's so awkward, I'm not even going to try to explain it, and I just walked away. I wouldn't say I had too many expectations when I joined Cloud9. They just asked me to sub for a tournament for them. And then they asked me to join as the jungler. And then Hai locks in Master Yi first pick and he goes, oh, by the way, I'm jungling, you go mid. I was like, what is this? Somehow first blooded Pobelter playing the super OP Cassidin at like level five by myself. And so from there, I just realized these guys were super troll, but also super good at the game. And I thought I'd get along with them, so I asked to join. I would say the stuff I learned about being in a team can help me in our future relationship because it just sort of taught me that I have to treat people that I'm going to be around all the time really well because it's not really worth doing petty things to get back at people if they make you mad or something. It's just I think it's just all about doing as much as you can for other people and hoping they do the same to you. And if they don't, don't hold it against them. Just keep trying to be a good guy. If I had to make out with one person on my team, I'd say it's Lemon so I can get all that scruff over my face. Mm-hmm. <laughs>